Hello guys, this is a review of two comedy films, Little and American Pie Girls Rules. I decided to review both of these films together because they're very recent comedy movies and I don't think I have a lot to say about them individually, so I thought it was a good idea to do this. Let's start with Little, starring Regina Haw, whom we all know from the scary movie franchise that I have to have to review. Gosh, ah, she's amazing. Always a pleasure. Blah. Always a pleasure to watch her. Sorry. Um, it also stars Marseille Martin and Issa Rae. This movie is about this woman right here. She's a very successful businesswoman. Very um, demanding, powerful, um, and rude and <laughs> vicious woman she treats her employees like they're trash and she doesn't respond to anyone she you know does her own thing she's a very independent strong woman but a very very rude one at that the thing is she, it wasn't always like that for her when she was a, a little girl she was like that and she was in school and people would bully her they wouldn't accept her they um i don't know they just tormented her to the point where she um, used all of that energy and transformed it into motivation for success. Reminds me of Paris Hilton. <laughs> um, the thing is, there's a time when she's being rude to a little girl. I think she's the daughter of the guy who sells donuts by the place where she works. And she was, like, like I said, being rude. And the girl uses her little magic wand and wishes that she were a little girl again so that she knew what it felt like to be mistreated and you know to see the world with different eyes like when you're little everything is huge and for that woman to be you know talking to her like that and her wish comes true she turns back into a little girl this is her assistant by the way so now her assistant who she really like especially her she mistreats her a lot but now she can't drive her car she can't manage a business people don't take her seriously they step up her blah sorry i always stumble upon my words i don't take me seriously ever um so now she depends on her assistant for assistance with everything she has to go back to school because like social services get there they figure that there's a girl there so she has to be enrolled in school and stuff like that there she meets these guys who are going through the same thing they're like the geeky kids because everybody's making fun of her because of her hair look how majestic obviously they exaggerated a little bit but she has very very beautiful hair and she helps them out the little kids that are being bullied the same way that she was and she's still being bullied it's very what's funny about this movie is that you could imagine like she's a grown woman like she's an adult so she's into grown men and the men are like kind of like dude like you're a little girl like you can't look at me that way and it's <laughs> that's a very funny dynamic that plays out throughout the movie the assistant now has the responsibility of answering for for every question that they have for for their boss while she's not there because supposedly she's sick but obviously she's turned into a little girl so they can't tell her they can't tell anyone that because they're gonna think that they're crazy even like they there's like a lot of of, of funny scenes within this movie but you can't explain them like you have to watch it for yourself the movie ends in a very good note where she gets turned into the woman that she was and she goes back to work but she doesn't treat her assistant like trash anymore she learns that you know she's been treating the people the way that she was treated when she was a child and that it didn't feel good then so it probably doesn't feel good for the other people either so she changes her ways and then the little kids go visit her there it's a very cute, um, very cute film. I had a fun time, like I said, Regina Hall. It, it's always a pleasure to watch her. Like, she made, not only her, like, everybody in Scary Movie did a very good job, but, um, Brenda, she just brought her to life, and she's a, she knows what she's doing in the comedy world. Uh, very good actress. I've watched a lot of interviews from her. She's very likable. Um, she has a very likable personality, so kudos to her and i'm gonna hopefully check out a lot more movies from her and that's it for this one uh, my rating would be uh, a seven out of ten seven out of ten in its category now for american pie gross rules um this movie do you recognize um this girl from that movie with the rock that football movie 
where I think she has to stay with him because her mom passes away or something. You remember like the commercials and it used to be really big. Well, now she's not like little anymore, as you can see. This movie is about these girls. They're kind of like um, struggling in life because they're miss they feel like they're missing something. So it's a very um, American Pie stylized theme for 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 the whole movie like one of the girls wants somebody to love them one of the girls wants to hook up one of the girls wants somebody like to respect them like you know like stuff like that and they make a pact where they're just gonna fulfill that emptiness whatever it is with with a particular guy and it happens to be this one right here so he's a son of the principal and everybody sets their goal, um, decides that he's going to be the guy to fulfill that wish. Um, it's kind of hard to, I mean, it's not hard. It's just that I don't know how to talk sometimes <laughs> in a clear way. But here's the thing. Since all of them want to have something to do with that guy, they're kind of in a competition with each other, even though they don't really know how serious it is. And the guy actually falls for her. She has an, an ex-boyfriend. And I say ex because, okay, it was her boyfriend. He moved to college and they haven't seen each other. She starts to develop feelings for the son of the principal. But then she's like, you know what? This can't be. Like, I have a boyfriend. I want to be loyal. I want to be faithful. I want to go back. And hopefully, if I see him on campus and we do it there and then, all the feelings that I had for him are going to come back to the surface. And I'm going to forget all about the son of the principal. So she goes there and she sees him with another guy. And she's like, you know what? I'm kind of relieved because I didn't really like you anyway, like anymore. So she goes back. But the guy, he's like, wait, what do you mean? You like you're into another guy? So he gets mad and tells him everything about the pack. Makes him feel like he's being used. And he tells the girls, like, I'm not a piece of me. He's like a very gracious person. Like everybody likes him. That's why other girls wanted to be with him. He's like, I'm not a piece of meat. You can't do that to me. But then later, like, he he understands that she was truly, like, falling for him as he was with her. And the girls, instead of being all jealous and, like, problematic about it, they decide to help them be together. Because they were like, we didn't know that you guys were into each other like that, you know? Like, we were just, like, here for, like, other things. Um, and that's how the movie ends. Now, I know that this movie... Um, received a lot of criticism because they did like that whole ghostbusters thing where they brought in like a a female cast to to lead a typically male dominated series um okay i consider myself a feminist but i do think that sometimes it just doesn't fit for example like a very bad example but like say um you have a little apple holder or banana holder it's not gonna be the same if you want to fit like an apple in there you know it just doesn't fit and it's not that the apple is any better than the banana or the banana any better than the apple but they just don't fit with each other but i think that this movie at least in particular it fit and here's why so the whole theme of these movies is wanting to get laid before going to college or just, you know, having a good time doing a lot of freaky things. And this is basically that. It has everything. I, I have to admit that it was kind of um, weird for me to see it from a female angle because usually they're like, oh, like, oh we don't want to do it. You know, like, and they have like that whole narrative. Like some of the girls are freaky in the series, but mostly they don't want to partake in the freaky things that the guys want to partake in and the, that's the only thing that i was kind of like whoa like they're like you know doing their own thing like they actually want it and some of the guys like were kind of like uh so that's the only thing about it but it has everything that any other movie the naked mile beta house or making pie to american pie like any movie has it has everything i really don't see like there's a very fun scene where like this is a principal i don't know if you could see her and they're like picking out things to pleasure themselves with this girl like is very much into that and like it's funny like i feel like um the people that criticize the movie haven't given it a chance like i went to a trailer right on youtube 
and I read the comments that were like, oh, they're messing everything up. I do understand what you mean because, like, for example, if they took the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie franchise and they added an installment where Peppa Pig comes out or, you know, the Power Rangers or something like that, I, I would be like, dude, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You do not put Peppa Pig. Like, she doesn't belong. But, <laughs> you know, that would make sense. But this doesn't do that. And on that same note, you will always have your classics. There's a bunch of remakes, a bunch of new additions to series and stuff like that. And people complain all the time. Sometimes I complain a little bit, like, with the Chucky movies. But like, I'm going to leave that for the Chucky movies. But I, I think that it's unfair to criticize something that you haven't even watched. If you watch it, like, with an open mind. And you're not, like, downright, like, oh, it's going to suck. It's gonna... Like, for example... After the first three movies, when they did the spin-offs and everything, a lot of people criticized the American Pie series for that. They were like, they're not as good, they're like, blah, blah, blah. I think it's kind of like the same thing. Obviously, the first ones have like the... the They don't have a new formula. It's been done before, like with Risky Business with Tom Cruise and stuff like that. But, um... Or did the other one come first? No, but like, you know, it's not an original idea. But they did it in a way that was very funny and very entertaining. And the other ones have a little bit more like, they're more aloof, they're more like, uh, kind of like, just all out there, you know? They don't really have a strong, um, how can I say, a strong feeling to them. I don't know how to describe it, and a lot of people were crying over that and complaining. And I think it's the same thing with this one, but this is even terrible. Like, it's worse, because a lot of people just don't want to see girls in leading roles and some people are like yeah we want to see them but in their own movies um i don't think that american pie really like how can i say this this is a comedy film it has the raunchiness it has the freakiness all over it i don't think you you need anything else from an american pie movie other than what they put here so i would really like just like do like just imagine the other guys <laughs> like you're gonna enjoy it. Like, if they told you the story and everything, you would be like, oh, a new installment, like, nothing new, like, you know? So, I would give it a rating of, um, eight, I guess, no, yeah, eight, eight out of ten in its category. And I think that's it for these. I suggest you check them out. <laughs> Thank you for watching.